seven Turismo Grand. I, I had to change it up somehow. We're back in the game. I have some money, which is difficult to come by in this game. However, today is a very special day because the engine swaps have been out, but they have not been out to this extent. Now, I have done a little bit of cheating and I've done a little bit of recon. Most people would say research, yes. This Supra, do you remember it? We built it and I absolutely love this thing. Now, you'll be surprised to see the engine swap costs 800,000. Okay, round it up a little bit. However, you jump in and it's an AMG Huayra engine. Jumping it up to 730 horsepower from the go, doubling the engine size displacement, just making this thing even cooler. But I don't want to ruin this car. So I bought another one. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm going to try and do as many cars as possible in this video. That's kind of the objective. The ones that I think have the coolest engine swaps that I can have pulled out. Starting with this. The 180SX Type X. Jump into this and you can swap in a little bit better of an engine. The 180SX is it's just it's such close to my heart car. It goes by many names, but the 180SX is the coolest one, right? It's the coolest one. Okay, can I financially recover from this one? I'm not looking, I'm not... 200K! Hey, you know what? Oh, that purple is so, so beautiful. Jump in and swap in. That's right, the VR38 GTR Nismo engine. Let's get it done. Yes, sorted. Swap that engine in, boys. <laughs> I have to say, it's even funnier because the remote vibrates as it's done. It's like, as they like lift it up. Yeah, you get the idea. We can also wide body this thing and without a doubt, we're going to do it. This is going to be a modification bonanza. It was kind of Australian to say bonanza, though we say it too. Let's not talk about the history of Australia because this could get very... <laughs> now, the theme of this video is going to be try not to waste all of my money because I will. Uh, it's very easy to do. I'm gonna eat my words. <laughs> That's already the biggest fail so far. <laughs> I saw that this thing jumped to like 800 horsepower now with a few mods. And so, of course, I wanna get a thousand horsepower from a 180SX. <laughs> Cause who wouldn't want to do that? Just like that, 1,021 horsepower. Let's get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm just wasting time, but like, I've not built one of these yet. And I don't know why, because this is amazing. The GTR's good at corners, so... That's so weird. Whoa! Whoa! It just threw me into that, I didn't do anything. Anyway, GTR's good at corners, so I thought, yeah, let's, let's throw it onto a big corner. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Anyway, the 180SX now sounds like a big twin turbocharged trumpet. Yes, trumpeting my way down. <laughs> this is all I'm going to be doing, like genuinely driving <laughs> these cars and listening to their sound for a little bit because that's cool. The reverb. Ooh. Oh, that was smoking. Please be known that I'm in racing softs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that one. <laughs> I will definitely be driving a lot of that. See, what this is becoming a game of is how buried are my cars that I've purchased in the past. And, oh, maybe? Yep. This is a good one. Audi TT. S. I want to call it TTRS, but this is the uh, 2014 model. Thankfully, though, we can do a little bit better. So TTS, very cool. I quite like the TT. It's now dead, uh, in case you don't know. They're not making them anymore. It, it was the weird named Audi, but so is the R8, and that's also in the bin. So, well, that's depressing. However, Grand Turismo will make it live on with a R8 engine. That's right, an R8 engine. <laughs> Let's put in this four liter NA V8. I'm so ready. And that's a good price too. I mean, it's not because how much is an R8? hundred grand? <laughs> I just love that every time. And I almost left without the wide body. However, um, a wide body TT. Yes, indeed. I want us always shout out to Gamersup. Hey, 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 for supporting the channel. They actually released a new flavor. This is 
uh, lemon and it's clear so I can drink it with my aligner in. God, that's sour. No ultra high RPM turbo. Shame. Uh, but we can do the high RPM turbo. Very cool. We can do the racing intercooler, the exhaust. I need help. <laughs> that's so freaking cool. This would completely make this car better than an R8 by... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See, I was kind of going in expecting a V10. <laughs> but the, the this makes more sense. I was like, kind of expecting V10 noises to start happening, but it's a little bit more grumbly than expected. And you know what? I would also not be against a big old V8 TT. That's how they should do a final, final edition. The finale. They should give it a big old V8. Do they do they have many good V8s? I don't really hear much about the Audi V8s, right? Anymore. <laughs> They're like Mercedes putting everything three cylinder. Either way, that's a pretty cool one. Thanks, Gran Turismo, for finally allowing us to drive this. It makes the TT actually like I, I catch I actually want to drive this now. Next! <laughs> This is the one I'm expecting all of my money to just disappear. Again, the engine costs 700, 800,000 in the game. And then, let's be real, we kind of need to put some bits on as well. How can you not upgrade the Huayra engined Supra? Sounds pretty naff. <laughs> Boring. Too what? Tiny PP engine! Also, I was kind of surprised that I didn't white body the other one. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. <laughs> This is the most Japanese game ever. Right, the Japanese racing game. Let's uh, jump in and put the wide body on. Thank you, thank you. And add a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna walk you along with this. No! If they're doing this to us. 730 horsepower from the go. Very cool, very nice. Bump that up a little bit. Yep, I'm gonna need a few more than that. <laughs> Buy some brakes. All right, let's get that air filter in there. Let's put on that intercooler. Very cool. Put the exhaust on there. 800 horsepower. We have got to fly past the thousand like it's nothing. Like it doesn't exist. 875. Listen. Yes. How could they not have allowed the ultra high? That would have been incredible. 1,012 horsepower. 1,040 horsepower. The horsepowers mean more in this game than I feel than any other game. <laughs> 1,050. Is that it? That might be it. This is going to be one of the single. <laughs> what? It still sounds a bit Supra. <laughs> wow, BMW. <gasps> What an incredible machine. There's, the thing is, I've got to be honest, in terms of like how I like the, the, the soup, here's, here's my situation with the Supra. I think it's cool, I think it's nice. I think of the trio, it, it's probably the least cool. Let's be real. Got to get some aggressive opinions in there. There's the other Supra. I can't believe they won't let us swap the 2J into that. Maybe we can, maybe I should test that before I actually say that. However, that would be, that would be pretty nice, Toyota, if you let us do that. I think the thing is, the reason they're more restrictive on the engine swaps in this game is because they actually list the engine that's swapping. Gran Turismo wants to be meticulous with that detail. However, normally they just don't care. Got a V-cam on a Skyline built into the tire upgrades. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sorry, why does that M3 look so massive on this? <laughs> I was like, is that an X6? <laughs> I'm sorry, BMW. You deserve a lot of bit of clowning. But what an incredible machine. It sounds correct. That was a bit of an oops, but it doesn't matter. It recovered. <laughs> Look how quick it looks when I'm looking backwards. It's just gone. I am very curious what it would be like with the... <laughs> with the more uh, normal tires on it. Since it tries to get away from me. 
with these big grippy boys on it. That viper has been bullying me for the last three bloody days. <laughs> Come on. Why couldn't they allow us to have the ultimate? That's all. Is that is that too difficult of an ask? I think so far this is the best engine swap. It's just it, it, it the more nonsensical, the better. Almost. I, I think that's how it works, right? Engine swaps in general. The more nonsensical, the better it is. Right. Moving on to something maybe a bit more sensical. Sensical. I feel like it was a wrong use of the word. <laughs> right, I may have lied a little bit. So, Ford Focus RS. Already a very cool car. Is now dead. Thanks, Ford. However, <laughs> however, of the engines you would think would be available for this car, you wouldn't probably think it would cost 700,000. Well, it does. And there's a reason why. It's pretty obvious that the more expensive, the more expensive the car it comes from. V8 Ford GT LM Test? What? A supercharged 5.4 liter V8. Yes, I will uh, pay this. Thank you very much. See, I don't think you'd be throwing it like that. I don't know why I didn't say that about the Supra. It only just popped into my head. However, this is incredible. <laughs> no turbochargers here, so I can't spend money. Big brain. We got the racing uh, silencer. Got the ECU already. Okay, you know what? I think all we're going to do is throw brakes and tires on this thing. And call it a day. Can't you? Can you believe it? We finally did a car properly. <laughs> White wheels are sick. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is beautiful. Yeah, Ford performance, indeed. That's for sure. Right. Let's uh, go nice and slow at the beginning on this beautiful evening in our Ford Focus RS. Those shift noises. Can you? Can you? Can you? Okay, fair enough. Let's do a hard launch, because just look at this gorgeous car. Power up! That would break a lot of things. Oh my god, the shifting noise! It's just... Oh! Mm. I have a soft spot for this car, hugely. It's just... I, it, it, it needs to be rebirthed. I hate that they're killing this. <laughs> they, they, they're they so evil. It's such a cracking car. And they were actually really reasonably priced. Ford can do that. Ford makes cars very good. Very cheap. Did you see the flame? Oh my god. The flame is erupting out the side of the exhaust. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. Just a little bit of power down this straight, which will be straight in a minute. How many gears do I have? Thankfully, I don't have five. That's good. But the fact that you can do this is so amazing. In Gran Turismo, I just never expected it. Do I have seven gears? No. However, uh, that's pretty fast enough, I think, for a hatchback. I wonder how they fit the engine in it. Oh, pay attention. It's doing 200. We broke 200 miles an hour in a Ford Focus RS. What do you mean it's probably possible in the real thing? Don't care. V8 motor from a race car. Let me just check my uh, iTunes. I wanna... Whoa, whoa, me. And that's why it doesn't exist. Whoa, mate, I was just checking my iTunes and I just tried to go, whoa, whoa, mate. Building up the collection, wasting all my money. This is 200 horsepower? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I never actually knew. <laughs> this one is also very good. We're going to do a cheapo drift, oh boy. Not spend all your money. LT5 Corvette C7 swap. What the f- <laughs> I'm not even going to put tires on it. Suspension on it. Okay, maybe I should- I'm going to slam it. I'm going to slam it. It deserves that at least, surely. Exhaust. Need to hear that thing. Roar a little bit. Brakes. This is the problem, you see. <laughs> Clutch. Stop! Done! Right, look at this cheap plastic interior. It's incredible. I love it so much. The price of it. I don't, you can't... But listen to that noise. Mm. 
Money! <laughs> right, uh, how, uh, can I? Well, that went about as expected. I don't know what else you were thinking, uh, to be honest. Oh my God, I didn't buy a gearbox, did I? <laughs> you at least need that. It's just... Oh, I can't, I can't. This is dumb. From now on, I'm going to upgrade all the cars to max, okay? Uh, until then. Uh... <laughs> Look at the wheels jumping at the back there. That looks so good. Second gear. This is beautiful. Third gear. That's better. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> A fourth gear. Fifth gear. Oh. 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 Four gears, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the smoke in this game is so good. And finally, because I did promise it, we're going to go back to the Supra. Yep. And we're going to change the tires. So I want to go to Sports Hard and do a burnout. Do, 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 do. Right, here we go, baby. Wide Supra, commence. Yeah, she, she needs, she needs more. There we go. Oh, I'm losing her. I'm losing her a little bit. <laughs> Third. There we go, that's a bit nicer, isn't it? Why is this so entertaining? When a burnout's not entertaining. Oh my god, I'm doing the world's slowest burnout. Wait, is that my clutch? <laughs> All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you found some new cars that you want to buy yourself. Check out this video for more of them because there's a lot. Smash like and peace.